who I've got next there, Kathy Carson, please. Hi, Rick. Hi, everyone. Hey. I will just unspotlight myself because that's too much face for me. Okay. Today I will send you a message. But you will ask me how I am, and I will tell you I'm fine. I won't say, I think I'm being bullied at work, but honestly, it's so insidious, so subtle that really I'm not sure is she being mean or am I losing my mind? I won't say I'm completely estranged from my family. Their treatment of me is so toxic, so destructive that it's safer for me not to have them in my life, but every Christmas, Easter, birthday, any damn day. When families do what families do, it feels like alcohol on a thousand paper cuts. I won't say, even though I'm content with my child-free life, I have the freedom to do what I want, when I want, but sometimes the laughter from a child in a supermarket queue still makes my arms feel empty. I won't say that this year as a nurse, I held too much grief down the phone line, passed on too many messages to the dying, Please tell them they were the best mother, father, brother, sister, son, daughter, friend in the world. Nurse, can you please just tell them I'll always love them? And those words had weight that sank to the soles of my feet so my every step I take feels like quicksand. I won't say that the Sarah Everard story almost broke me. I couldn't listen to another poem about Reclaim the Night because it happened to me in broad daylight. And the eldest of the group who attacked me was 16. So yes, please, educate your boys. I won't say that in the year that followed, I lost every hair on my head, lost my sense of safety, lost my ship, almost lost my job lost the ability to speak in full sentences all over again, or that this whole journey, this stepping up white knuckle to a mic has been about me speaking up for all the times when I have been silent. Today, I will send you a message. I will ask you how you are and you will tell me you are fine. And yes, I get it. I understand the need for wolves. If the walls fall down, the roof falls down. We're all terrified that others will take a look at the rubble on the ground and walk away. But if I have sent you a message, if I have taken the time, it's because all day long you've been on my mind. And every time I say your name out loud, my heart be quickened. So you see, I already know that something isn't quite right. So let's get real. Because I've already lost five people to suicide. And I don't know how many you've lost, but one more is one too many. We need to find a better way to talk to each other. We need to have more honest conversations. I'm suggesting good communication is just an equation where A is what happened, B is the impact, and C is what you need. Yes, it really is okay. You can ask for what you need. I'll go first. A, nothing really bad has happened. Nothing that I can put my finger on. In fact, from the outside looking in, everything looks the same. But B, I have been crying for days. Sometimes it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. And some days, something as simple as brushing my teeth overwhelms me. See, I just needed to say that out loud. Your turn. Thanks, Rafe. <laughs> 